my sister. You oh have no idea. God. Have you ever wanted to be in one of these videos? I've dreamed of this my entire life. Wow, he said the ayah of the Quran as well. Ooh, you're not playing games. Which chapter of the Holy Quran is known as the mother of the Quran? That's correct. That's correct. What do you believe happens to you after you die? Nothing. <laughs> no, okay. No, yeah. the best drunken sleep you could imagine, except you never wake up with a hangover. Wow, so you just never wake up? Yeah, you just never wake up. Okay. Yeah. If it's reincarnation, I'd like to be a tree. You would like to be a tree? Yep. Okay, so, so you're saying that it might be reincarnation. Maybe. You think that there's nothing at all? I don't think it. I just think it would be cool if that was true. Like reincarnation into it, I can see that being an actual thing. Maybe. Maybe, why not? So, so let me ask you this, right? So if it is reincarnation, it would depend on your actions that you do in this world, correct? I don't know that one. W would it? Like, if you're saying it's reincarnation, that means the idea of reincarnation, if you, you know, I'm sure you already know this, right? It would be based upon how you lived your life. Does that make sense? Yeah, sure. So the question is this, who is the one to judge how you lived your life to decide what you're going to be? Whatever Matter there is. Question. Yeah. That's the golden question. Yeah, whatever there question. is. <laughs> if there is a creator, if there is one, right, you should be able to have a direct relationship with them yourself. Would you think so? Yeah, right? So no one can interfere with it. No money, no nothing. And it's also a level playing field. Meaning, it doesn't matter how rich you are, how poor you are, which is skin color, it doesn't matter. Yep. Because everyone has the equal opportunity with developing a relationship with this creator. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, very fine, right? So just letting you know, so you probably heard of this. You've heard like maybe DMT trips and all that sort of stuff, yeah. right? You've heard of these things. And one of the times when we die, DMT is one of the highest compounds that is released at a level that we've never had before. So is it fair to say that maybe Maybe when we die, we go on a trip. Yes, I hope so. <laughs> I hope yeah. so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fair enough to say that, right? What if, what if this trip, and obviously since DMT and all these things, right, are going to be released for every single person, right? Everyone will experience this trip, whether whatever you believe in, you all are going to experience this trip. Make sense? Right? Yeah. Everyone will, yeah. okay? No matter what. And what if, right, like if you've ever done anything like that, you know, I'm not saying, you know, I'll put it out there. You're going to tell us, you know, you got families, right? But if you've ever done maybe a psychedelic, maybe it's a DMT, maybe it's a LSS, you know, whatever you've done, right? You know that you never go in there without having a sitter, without having a guide, yeah. without a shaman, yeah. you know? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, you know? Someone's got to walk you through it because you're going to be experiencing like, what is it? You're going to, hey, calm down, all right? Yeah. You're just tripping right now, all right? Everything's okay. You're going to be fine. Okay, now, so if everyone is going to be going on this trip, right, doesn't it make sense? that someone has to tell you what's gonna happen on this trip? I see how you brought it back around. Yes. Yeah, Does that make sense? Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So here's what the trip we know of, right? This is what we believe is gonna happen, okay? Ready. You ready for this one? Ready. So when this amount, and it is time for your soul to come out your body, okay? There will be these entities, call them angels if you like, right? There will be these entities, right? That will come to extract your soul from your body. Okay, now, this process solely depends on how you lived your life. And I think we would all agree that if we lived our life in accordance, right, we could expect something good to happen to us, right? Now, this is what we believe, an entity will come and extract this. Depending on how you were in this life, in this world, the deeds that you've done, the actions that you've done, it will go in two ways. One way, it will come out of your body, so smooth. Like, you know how a, a water drop comes out the faucet? Just drops, no problem, very smooth. But if not, if you weren't prepared, if you didn't know, it's going to happen in a way that if there was a rusty rod and put in like a wool sweater or something, you know, you pull it out and all the fabrics and all the strings come out, that's how it's going to come out, okay? After that, these entities take you and they wrap your soul in a shroud, like in a, in a blanket or in some type of cloth. Very beautiful. It smells, smells like you've never smelled before. Things you've never seen before. Colors you've never experienced before. Things like, whoa, what's happening over here? And you're going to be taking, you're going to be elevating, okay? And you're going to pass through the different realms of the heavens because this is just one realm of the heavens. It is far beyond what we know, okay? And along the way, your eyes are now officially open to the world and the truth of the world and what's this really, really about. And along the way, they're going to be calling you by the nicest names. They're going to be greeting you in the nicest way. The things they used to say about you, the nicest thing. Wow, such and such was such an honest person, a good person, a generous person. A generous. You're going to be feeling smiling just like that. Okay. Exactly okay. like Too that, late. okay? So you get taken up and you find out that, whoa, this is just a preview of what's to come. Then you're gently escorted back down and then you are put inside your grave, right? Your tomb, your grave, whatever this is, okay? 
Now that's when the real trial and test begins, okay? When you are in your grave and you place inside of your grave full darkness and people leave your grave, you know, like they buried you, and the last footsteps go away, there's gonna be two new entities that come to you. Two new entities that come to you that are probably gonna scare the you know what out of you. It's just gonna be crazy. And they're gonna ask you three questions. Three questions, okay? Right. Depending on how you answer these three questions, that is what's gonna determine what happens after that, okay? It's gonna determine the rest of your trip, as we say, okay? Now, depending on how you answer these three questions, your grave will feel as if it has expanded and done something really, really well for you, or it has shrunk and is now squeezing you, okay? And this is depending on those three questions. Do you know what the three questions are? No. Do you know that my belief system is the only one that has an explanation of this? No one else does. Isn't it interesting? This is the first time you've heard this before. Yeah. You've never heard this before. No. no. Never heard this, right? Usually we hear you go to heaven, you go to hell. We're not even talking about that yet. Yeah. That comes later on. Because we believe that that's just the first part. Because when we die, world is still happening around us, right? So our trip, wherever state we're stuck in, right? Which could be a great trip. It could be an amazing trip. Or it could be a nightmare. And that nightmare could feel like a lifetime in eternity. Or the great trip could be like, oh wait, I'm done already? What happened? I want to go back in. It just depends, right? And it depends on how you lived your life. Our argument, our claim is that, look, if there is a creator of this universe, someone who made you, someone who made me, they have the right to tell you how, not how do you live your life, but how do you operate this machinery? This machinery, how do we operate it? The same way when you buy an Apple phone or whatever, they give you a manual. They give you a manual. Not because they want to control you, because, hey, listen, don't put it in a microwave, bro. Don't do it. It's bad for you. You know what I mean? It's going to mess your phone up, right? The same way, there's certain things that could either affect you physically, they could harm you, or they could mess you up spiritually, mentally, emotionally, psychologically. There's certain things, and this creator just wants to look out for you, okay? So, this is what I'm offering you guys. Learn about it on your own. I'm not going to even say, hey guys, follow me. No, learn it on your own. Was it interesting enough for you to want to learn more? Yes. Yeah, yes? Absolutely. You made a very good yeah, argument. Yeah. Yes. yes. I could give you the text that I follow so you can explore it on your own. To educate yourself so you can know what those three questions are, what it is, all on your own. I'm not going to even tell you. You're not going to tell us the three okay. questions. You're going to find out yourself. Please yeah. tell you. you want to know the Yeah, three we questions. want you to tell okay, us. Okay, let yeah. me get it. Okay. So, do you know what, my, what, what I follow right now? Do you know what my. No? No, really. Take a guess. Come on. Um, Come on, bro. Like, We're going to say it. <laughs> we. I'm. <laughs> That's true. I'm a Muslim. I'm a Muslim. I haven't always been a Muslim, but I'm a Muslim, okay? And we believe that this is the final text given to mankind, and it has never been corrupted, meaning it's still the same original text from back then. The biggest miracle about this is how it makes you feel. When you read this, and you know, you can only read this when you're allowed to, because this book has to call you. And if this is it's the same thing like other things, right? When something is for you, it won't miss you. It has to come to you. What are the chances of the odds that you're here right now and I'm here right now? One of these kids was sick. I could have stayed home. I could have, you know, but it was something. There was something. There's a bigger reason to this, okay? So this is the Quran. I'm going to give you a copy over here. Thank look you. into that yourself. So I'm not even going to control it, okay? This is all for you to look into. Look into yourself. Thank you so much. Hell yeah. Wow, yeah. yeah. You're going to do it. Wow. Mashallah, mashallah. No problem at all, right? Ow. Ladies, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Okay, have a beautiful night. Stay safe. Stay safe. All right, bye bye. Bye, take care. Does she have to be a virgin? Yes. Yes. No, 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 no. Yes. Yes. Look yes. around, look around. Yes. Does it matter? Does it matter? Uh, yeah, I guess it does. does. Yeah. Sure. I'm a virgin. I expect her to be. Fair. Exactly. Very fair. You know? Very fair. She's a new woman. Yeah? She's in your hijab. I like that. Yeah? So, reverse sister, you're good with that. I'm perfect with that. You're perfect with that. I'm perfect with that.